welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be one of a lot of different things, just a random mishmash of things. I've got some stuff on my to-do list to get done, and then I may be doing some shopping, and I'm just gonna take you with me through my day, and hopefully this gives you some inspiration and motivation to get done whatever you have on your to-do list today, and maybe even inspire you a little bit to get out and have some self-care as well. So the first thing we're gonna head to do is my closet. If you guys have watched my channel before, then you know that my closet tends to be a catch-all space for all kinds of things. And so every once in a while, I have to go through it plus with the season changing and getting ready to shop for fall clothes and stuff like that, I really wanna go through and get some stuff cleaned out of there as well. So let's go back and take a look. And again, I'm warning you, I'm sorry, it's a mess. So the first thing I did was clear out the floor area. That always helps me kind of get my headspace right and able to get to my bins and everything like that. Like I said, this is kind of a regular thing I have to do every once in a while when things get a little too piled up. And guys, I'm that typical girl that tries on all kinds of clothes and throws them on the floor and they're clean, they're just on the floor in a pile. <laughs> so I put a bunch of the things out on my bed and then I was able to actually like lay them out and hang them back up because everything that was on the floor in here was already clean. I know, guilty. It sounds a little bit like whenever I was a teenager, maybe it was a bad habit I carried on from then. So this little organizer is actually from the fishing section, I think at Walmart, and it's just the most convenient thing to organize my jewelry in. I don't wear a ton of jewelry, and what I do wear is really minimal, so I like to keep it all separated in that little container. I learned this trick a long time ago. I think it was actually from another YouTuber. I really can't remember, but I just always lay out my clothes, whether it's my pants or my tops in a pile. And then I just get a pile of hangers and I go and I put all of the hangers on at once. And then I carry them into the closet to put them away. So after I had everything hung up that was all over the floor, I went ahead and went through all of my clothes and I got rid of just stuff I haven't been wearing in the last few months or things that have holes in them or things that are worn out or things that I just don't like how they fit so I tend to not gravitate towards them and they just hang in my closet and I really don't like going through my clothes whenever I have a bunch of stuff that I don't wear at all. Okay, before we go any further, I wanted to let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by Elect Homes. They make a lot of different 
appliances and home products. I actually have quite a few, even some in my kitchen. My blender is from them. And I have to say, after using their products for a few years, I really believe that they make quality products. So they have a new cordless vacuum that I'm gonna open up and use to vacuum the closet out. I'm really excited to try this out. I love cordless vacuums. In fact, I don't know if I'll ever go back to having a corded vacuum. I may one day, but who knows. Um, so let's see how this guy works. It has a noise reduction system, which I can attest to. I didn't think it was that loud, and it brings you a quiet cleaning experience. The detachable dust bucket is easy to clean, and I really noticed that whenever I went to empty this out, and it collected so much dirt and dust from my floor. And it also has a battery that can provide up to 50 minutes of uninterrupted operation on low speed mode. I personally think that this cordless vacuum would be absolutely excellent for hardwood floors. It's got a really soft brush system that rolls underneath and I think it works amazing on bare floors. All in all, I would say from our household, we really loved this vacuum cleaner. And if you guys wanna check it out, you can look at the link in the description box and find out all the information there. My next task to tackle for this day was the refrigerator. Guys, I think I've talked about this before, but I feel like I wait until the very last minute with the refrigerator until it's almost not bearable and I can't even stand it anymore and then I just have to just empty it all out. So obviously I do this as fast as I possibly can, taking everything out so that nothing gets spoiled or gets too warm and I quickly clean it all out. After I pulled everything out, I went ahead and wiped it all down with an Enviro cloth. And of course that removed 99.9% .9 of bacteria from inside the refrigerator. And it smells nice and clean when all of that bacteria and nasty stuff is out of there. After the refrigerator was cleaned out, I had a little bit of meal prep to tackle. So I went ahead and cut up a watermelon. That is one thing I try to do after I get my groceries is kind of prepare my fruit. So like if I have grapes, I wash them and put them, take them off the vine, put them all into a container. Just make it like really quick and accessible whenever lunchtime rolls around that I can just pull out, you know, the nuggets, the meatballs, whatever I've prepped for the girls' lunches. And then I can just quickly grab some fresh fruit. So I went ahead and cut up the watermelon and if you see, Corey is sneaking a few pieces while I was cutting it up. I got two containers of plain yogurt and I was cheating a little bit. You guys know that I make my own yogurt and I really love doing that, but sometimes some weeks are just busy and it's easier for me to just grab some 
plain yogurt. I will link the video below where I make my own yogurt and I do all of this from scratch in case you're interested on how I make my yogurt. But I just went and cut up some strawberries, threw that in with the plain yogurt, and then I also sprinkled some pure stevia powder across it and I blended it up. videos then you already know that so I went ahead and filled up all of the rest of them I think pretty much that I had left I need to make another order um, but there's something I like to keep on hand and they're a super healthy snack so this is a snack that's really free from sugar and uh, all of that stuff and it's something that I can just give them really quickly whenever they're hungry for something and meal prepping can be like this you know you can work on it little by little it doesn't have to be a whole day or hours and hours it can just be something that you set aside one or two little projects in a day and prep them Okay guys, so Corey so sweetly gave me the afternoon to go shopping by myself. I am so excited, you can see a bunch of his stuff back there, but I'm so excited to just go and cruise through the aisles. I'm sitting in front of Home Goods and TJ Maxx. That is where I'm gonna go first, and then I'm gonna go to Target, get myself a coffee, and just have a few hours completely by myself, just you guys know if you are moms of little ones or just moms in general particularly right now we're home so much with them and it has been a few weeks since I've taken time to do something like this so I'm really excited I want to look for some fall clothing for myself and I don't know maybe some stationery like a journal or something I've been super into journaling and doing handwriting and stuff lately so I might do that I don't know I'm just gonna go and enjoy myself and take you guys with me All right, you guys, so I'm home and oh my goodness, there's something that refreshes me is to just get out for a while by myself and drink a coffee, browse the aisles. It was a nice couple hours, but I wanna show you what I found. I found some really great deals. I really didn't spend that much, which is always a big score whenever I come home and feel like I had fun shopping, but didn't spend much. So I'm gonna show you what I got at TJ Maxx first. I found two um, crew neck sweatshirts. The first one is this one and it has like this 
kind of crease down the middle and the back and it's from a brand called Hippie Rose. I actually found a bunch of other stuff at TJ Maxx that was from that brand that I really like. I love their style, but it's super comfortable and I'm actually sizing up for a lot of my stuff for this fall. I normally wear a small in pretty much everything, but I'm definitely gravitating towards like medium and large just because I love that big bulky feeling or just for things to be a little bit more oversized. So this I think is supposed to be slightly oversized but not by much because I got this medium and I definitely love the way it fits. It's pretty wide according to my size. Um, but it's so comfortable and super soft on the inside and then I also got this this was a great score It was only $9.99 and it's from US vintage is the brand and It's so soft on the inside. I'm so excited to wear this I like to like cuff the sleeves up a little bit and It will go great with leggings or jeans and I love the like muted color that it is it's kind of like a muted gray. It almost comes off brown on the camera. And if you hear the girls playing in the background, they're back playing in their room. But um, I love this. I'm really going for neutrals and like earthy tones for this fall and winter. I love that that is the end thing. And honestly, it's the easiest to keep clean <laughs> is some of those earthier tones. Okay, so the other things that I picked up was this. I always like to get at least one of these. It's from skinny syrups and every year TJ Maxx and home goods they carry these but I got the one that was pumpkin caramel scone and I was thinking that because it's supposed to be like a baked good I'm hoping it has some vanilla um, flavors to it I like it when stuff has a vanilla pumpkin in it so I'm excited about this making myself some lattes and whatnot and then the other thing I got at TJ Maxx was the gratitude journal and it's funny because I've actually been looking online for one of these and lo and behold TJ Maxx had a ton of these they actually had some different ones but I like the way this one looks on the front and it was only $4.99 and then on the inside it has place for like what you're grateful for and your to-do list for the day, your goals for the day, your meals for the day. I just love this kind of journaling and then it also gives you notes for each day. So I'm gonna try and keep up with it. I think it's gonna help me plan my days out. Instead of just writing it out on a notepad, it kind of gives me little categories for it, which I really love. I did stop in at Old Navy because that's really close to my TJ Maxx and they didn't have a lot of sales going on, but I'm gonna keep my eye out because I did see a few things I thought were really cute there for this fall and winter, but I'm gonna wait until they have a good sale. All right, I found a couple things at Target and one of them is this shirt and this is actually a men's shirt. I love the fact that the pocket tee thing is kind of in right now and I love this color. So I got it in a small and it fits perfect. I feel like it could be great tucked in or out um, with jeans and it's so soft and I don't think it's gonna shrink much at all because I feel like it's a cotton. And then the other shirt I grabbed was this one and actually when I tried it on, I did it um, like untucked but I think that it would be better off if it was tucked into high waist jeans. But I love the color, again, that like muted kind of color for fall and winter. And then the last, oh, and this this t-shirt is from a New Day brand. And then the last thing I got were these earrings. I just think that they're great, simple, everyday earrings. Um, and I'm really into gold right now, wearing gold. So uh, I think it'll go great with a bunch of the other jewelry that I have. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. It was just such a good day. And I'm so happy with everything that I got done just getting ready to change my closet over from you know summer to fall and kind of just narrowing down the things that I love I feel like I do some capsule wardrobing not entirely um, but somewhat or I just keep my closet very much to what I like if I don't like something I like to go through it every couple months and just get rid of stuff that I'm not wearing so I'm not looking through all of it and I just have everything there that I really really like I really hope that this video inspired you guys as always and if you're new around here I would love it if you subscribe to my channel don't forget to leave a comment below I will link the things that I can especially the stuff I got from Target I know I can link and I may be able to find a few things from TJ Maxx it's kind of hit and miss to be able to link up online and don't forget to give this video a like and I'll see you guys in my next video